going. Let's make Russia regret the day they started a war with Turkey. <laughs> Ideological defenses done, so this should do something, right? I'm gonna have a look at the Soviet Union here in a second. And everybody gets an event. Good. So, if we go on here, formalize the treaty. We should prepare for a military conflict with communism by inviting all signatories of the anti term pact to agree to an additional clause calling for military support against any Soviet aggression. If we had that before Turkey was attacked, then all of these would immediately just attack the USA. Uh, the, USA the USSR. That would have been nice. Well, we're just going to do it anyway, although we're already at war. Just want to get through there. Good. Continue on. How are we looking in terms of organization and strength and all the things? I've seen worse. How's Spain looking? Worse. <laughs> I told you I've seen worse. Look at Spain. That's how you look at worse things. We're going to circle it up there. Hmm. Whoa, that organization dropped in a heartbeat. Well, yeah, expeditionary forces, right? Yeah, those are not pretty good. That completes everything we need to do in here, unless you want to go jets. So we could start this and quickly go over there. It's probably a good idea. Let's just do it. Let's get it out of the way in case we ever want to go jets. And at least for the strategic bombers, we probably want to go jets. Also, Navy is looking pretty nice. I didn't want to do that. Three battleships, a lot of light cruisers, a lot of destroyers, and probably some submarines. Sub submarines. Good. Yeah, we're going back to Britain soon. Uh, let's just continue with this. That just stays on maintenance company until we're done. Some troops have made it up here, that's perfect. You, why don't you go in there where there's nobody in? That would help. You can keep these guys busy, perfect. You, don't stand around. Cut them off when you're not doing anything. Idiot. Thank you. Half of you, get in here. Another half. Attack whatever is running around here, so it can't um, stop us from doing what we want to do. And you just go there. Nice. And we have a cutoff here. That's perfect. There's no army on this front. That is wrong. <laughs> Idiots. Um, probably just those that are already up here. Go on here. That might be because the actual assignment was to this attack. And the attack is on this front line. That's why this got left with nothing to do. I don't know. I'm just gonna give it something here. We're gonna to continue to mop up. It might also have been an idea to just abandon this front completely, just get this victory point and hold it and let them, you know, stretch their territory if they want to. They won't get any victory points by doing that. We need to get up there. That's not a big one, is it? No, it's five points. It's actually quite substantial. When you're this close. Uh, how much is you? It's also five. Yep, I have the same weight, so why don't we do this? It's not like anybody can do anything about it. Keep these guys busy. We're already attacking, that's perfect. Uh, which means we can stretch this a little bit, so the tanks actually have something to do down there. Keep on going. One. Oh. Over here, Russia seems to be doing way better than over here. <laughs> Spain is split in two. Nice! It's two divisions up there. That is completely wrong. I want all of you on this. That's six. That's better. Is there anybody in here? Not much. And the rest, 18. Yep, down here. Perfect. And for some reason, when I draw that attack order, I exclude Gibraltar. Doesn't matter that much. This does. Yeah, we need to focus on this a little bit. 
a little bit is good. Uh, uh, a big bit. <laughs> we need more troops there. Real troops. Uh, once Spain is defeated, we can move all the troops we want up there, so it's not a big deal. Turkey is free again. Russia has been completely defeated down here. Very nice. Uh, which basically just means we need to finish whatever we're doing up here. Now, how's our contribution? Down to 40%. Ugh. Contribution up here would be nice, like per faction, so you can see who's doing better, because we have like 58, which means these should have 42. This I can do, right? <laughs> math up here, not a big deal. Math down here, well, it's a little bit more involved. Uh, math down here, so yeah, that's too much. Can't be bothered. And if it says 0%, it could be 0.5 or something, I guess. So, it's annoying. It should just be a summary, like, for all the rest. Nine million dead, look at that. I like that. It's cool. <laughs> Still gaining manpower. It's awesome. Doing all the right things. What are we missing? We're missing 104 tungsten. What happened? Do we need that much tungsten for you? No, you don't need any tungsten. Where does that come into play? What happened to our tungsten? Does Portugal not deliver the tungsten we want? We do have a craft on of convoys. We're not getting what we're needing. Do they get shot down over here? Now we have a direct route now, right? We have a land route to Portugal, we should be having no issues with that. Well, then on the other hand... Yeah, look, it's it's going to the English Channel. It's bollocks. Yeah. Alright then, um, I guess it's time to take our navy and tell them they have work to do. Where do we have a big port? You should be one. I don't own that currently, that is probably an issue. I don't want to port directly in the channel, because that means whenever they need to repair and go home they get attacked again uh, in the channel. I don't own that yet. These are just too flimsy. If I take the port over here, then they need to go to, uh, through the channel every time. I guess there's nothing we can do about that. You might as well stay where you are. Uh, control, right click, set as home base. Nice, and now we're gonna do... Convoy Escort. Does that count as Convoy Escort? If we want to protect our convoys. It, it sounds weird, right? But Convoy Escort to me is usually... Um, you're sending naval troops... Uh, you're sending invasion troops by sea, and those convoys need to be protected, like troop transports. Well, I guess that's regular convoys as well, right? So, we can do this. There's no fighting over here, so that doesn't matter. Then I want to do this. Probably... Yeah, let's do that. Let's see what happens. And you're on medium priority. And you're on fire at will. And... Go. We have planes over here. Those are fighters. Let's give them air superiority over here. Those are... Oh, wow, we have a thousand naval bombers. <laughs> Let's split those up a little bit, shall we? First of all, everybody over here. Let me take one of you. Put you... There. Go here. Uh, you should also be split up in nicely to handle groups. Then you go over here and do, do this. Nice. That should do something for us once they actually arrive. Yeah. See, that's better. Delete all that. So. You want Erwin Rommel. Why? He's crap. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. Not gonna happen. If you look at these guy, Erich von Manstein. Do I get a good summary here anywhere? Well, you get all of that. Uh, Panzer expert, 
that's good. Um, some some good things like equipment capture ratio. All of these are really good. He has the Panzer Leader trade. He has the Panzer Expert trade. All of this is really good. Three attack. Supply consumption goes down. Planning speed goes up. Defense is really high. He's at level six, so yeah, really really good. And then you look at Rommel. Do I use Rommel anywhere? Right, this guy, so right? Awesome. Uh, yeah. He can actually level up. That's nice. Um, he can get infantry expert. I mean, look at him. Where's the the tank stuff we just had here a second ago? I don't even see it. Might just be me. Um, reckless. He gets wounded all the time. The infantry leader. The, there is no tank in here. Nowhere. Not at all. He, he has the trade right there. He's an armor officer. So gets experience faster for that. But that's it. Like here. Nothing. <laughs> no, you don't get that guy. It's not going to happen. <laughs> He's becoming an infantry expert. I guess. Yeah. You're going to get that guy. And, yeah, might as well, since we have two points, right? Mm-hmm. Can anybody else level up, since we're at it? Technically, yes, one trade, but don't meet the requirements to pick one. Uh, Kesselring. Same issue, two trades. Don't meet the requirement for anything. And I guess if you play this right, you can force them to get the requirements, like the terrain trades. Just by fighting in desert, by fighting in Africa and stuff like that. Which is what I would have used Drommel for, normally. Um, but not in this playthrough. I'm not focusing on the generals and how to level them up at best. This, I'm, I'm clicking the general and hoping to see info here. This is not updating, this stays the same guy. <coughs> Get that for a change. I totally like that. This is really good. Terrain penalty reduction 50%. If this guy had the Panzer Expert and maybe combined arms expert or something here, I would totally use that for the tanks. This has been cut off. Very good. This is again a graphical glitch, I hope. No, it's not. Okay. Uh, we still don't have Momansk. We're working on it though. So, let's say all of green goes up here, and this just gets deleted. There's eight divisions on this, that shouldn't be an issue. You do this. You start attacking from down here, to drive them up so they don't reconnect down here. Uh, I did send somebody up there, right? Yeah, still working on it, it seems. Let's do that. See what happens. Moving through forest with uh, medium tanks, you know, it's, it's a bit of a thing. We have a split over here, obviously, because we can't make it down here, so let's do... I don't know, let's do something like that. Should be good. Lengthwise, front lines are okay. Yeah, we just need to force the issue at hand and just kill the Russians. We're gonna do it. Have a good night, FCA. See you next time. This is all going. All nice. All good. Thinking about assigning more of these troops up there and just get this over with. And then. Just pick up the pieces. Uh, you could probably deal with going crazy more than just attack. Because there's really nothing left. Thank you. So this became German territory immediately because we... <laughs> we had the war down here and they capitulated. Uh, since we moved from Italian territory into Spain, all of this became Italian territory, obviously. So, you're just gonna do that? I don't know. Let's see. What do we need to do? What's left? 
Uh, let us... You can hold 30 now? Is that one of the traits we just gave him? Look at that. Um, okay. Getting sidetracked. Yeah, we need this. We need this. And this is shortcut Z. What's that for the non-Americans like me? Okay, uh, you on that, you on that, you're on crazy mode, so you should attack even though there's no key attack order on that one. You down here, here, half of you, here, three and three, that works. And just do your thing. And when you're done with that, all of you will come up here and do this. Right. And also attack. Did we get invaded anywhere else? No. So how is this going? I'm... I want to see that now. There's a fight happening. Ooh! Have the Spanish Navy. What's left of it? Uh, it seems like we are having a clear advantage here. That's good. That's not our convoy that was lost. That is also good. Lost two Fokker Wolf and they lost some convoys. Nice. Good. Good. I can deal with that. Yep. It's not our convoys that get shut down. Um, nothing? Okay. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay, it seems to be going now. Are we getting our resources? Still missing all the tungsten in the world. That can't be right. I should probably cancel that. Minus four I can deal with. So now let's do this again. How much do we... How much? Mm, Portugal. That one. How much do we need? That much. Go. And this is what we should be getting. Right? I don't know. We'll see. It's so nice and quiet when you don't zoom in. <laughs> Not playing this game because it's nice and quiet. It's not a thing. Alright, we need to force getting the victory point up here, so we're going to move the front line a little bit to give them more punch. Uh, yeah, you should be going there. You should also be going there, right? Mm -hmm. That's still the right-click order, so it hasn't been stopped yet. That is done. Very good. There's eight divisions on this. That's way too many, because this territory doesn't matter at all. But mm, might as well just clean it up, and then they move back to their original front anyway. No problem there. So, since there's no order over here. I might as well give him something to do. Angetreten. And say go. Hmm. At that stage I could delete all of these and just give the field marshal an order to go. And then wait for things to happen. That's all cleared up. Italy is moving in to secure the ports. Angetreten. You should be going and you're not. Nobody... Hey, this, this one. Thank you. Nobody knows why. This is all cleared up. So you're now down here mostly. Yeah. Well then, do your thing. That's where you need to go. Thank you. Let's go. That's been cleared up. Oh, there's an actual battle. Uh, okay. <laughs> I think we won that. It's another one. Oh, wow. Stop. So we lost three light cruisers and 15 destroyers in this battle. We sank three battleships, two battle cruisers, six heavy cruisers, one light cruiser. That's all American. Nice. I can live with that.
we also seem to have lost most of our battleships here. Um, you need to go and repair. Like, now. Whew, okay. We are still producing battleships, that's looking good. That's what we need the chromium for. Hmm, okay. I think that's that should be fine. What I want to do is take all of these... these. Can I... Oh, submarines. Dunits? Yeah, sure, Dunits. And we should all...